Well, hello, beautiful family and friends. Catherine Hood here, or Coach Catherine to some of you that are clients of mine. I am going to talk today about creating a healthy lifestyle, but more specifically, what you focus on improves. That is the paradigm for Power Up, or one of a few. But definitely, I welcome you to this video, whether you're tuning in live or watching the replay, thank you so much for the love, the hearts, the likes, the attention um, that you give these videos. I appreciate it. All right, so I'm excited. Uh, what you focus on improves is a sentence that I say every day, whether it is in my head or out loud or to my clients. Um, but it is a paradigm. It's how I view the world that I'm in and my health. So I think it's really important to focus on your health every day, every moment of every day. It helps you with your decisions. So finding the clarity in life is about how you think about today, how you think about tomorrow, the next day, next year, and ultimately the end of your life. How do you want people to view you? How do you want people to remember you? Do you want people to remember you as busy and not attentive and unhealthy and, oh, that person just always sat on the couch or watched TV or had no time? Or do you want to be thought of as someone that is excited and energetic to go and explore the world and have experiences and make memories? A question for you. I have others. So know who you are, right? Who are you? What identity do you want to have? Do you want to be healthy or do you want to be lazy? What do you want? What do you want people to remember you as? So who are you? Who do you want to be viewed as and who are you at your roots? What do you want, right? Our health is either improving or deteriorating, period. There's no in between. We're all getting older. Things are, you know, when we're born, we're not giving, you know, our heart and our lungs, our kidneys and the liver are not given, um, you know, we can't continue to abuse them all our lives. We have to take care of these organs. So what do you want? Do you want to be healthy? What does healthy mean to you? All right? So how do you get to be healthy? How do you get and obtain what you dream of and have a meaningful life? How do you feel fulfilled? How do you get to that point? Are you happy? Really at the root, are you happy? So what do you value? Do you value your health? Do you value your relationships? Do you value your time? with your friends and family. So what do you want in your health? I love answering, I love asking that question, but I love the answers that I get back on phone calls with my potential clients or my existing clients. I'll ask them that regularly. So what are your strengths and weaknesses and this can be in health, this can be in your career, this can be in your personal life, this can be in your relationships, this can be with your coworkers. So what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses in your life? So do you have clear goals and plans with a deadline or multiple deadlines or plateaus like where you'll get to, I'm gonna reach this point, and then once I hit that point, I'm gonna to go to the next point. So what are your goals? What is your plan? So being able to focus on that one thing every day that you must have, that's really important. Having it clear and defined, having it front and center, on the stage, something you can look at every day. This is what I want. Some people use wish boards, some people use journaling, meditation, whatever it is that works for you, you have to focus on what you want daily. It may, be, it may seem silly, but if you ask yourself these questions now, 
And every day, it will be life-changing. So asking yourself every day, what do I want in my health? What are my strengths and my weaknesses? Do I have a clear goal and a plan? These are really important to ask every single day. Because life will sweep you away and distract you with all this static, all this chaos. But you need to carve out the time. How long does it take to ask those questions? Not very long. So knowing who you are will impact your self-esteem greatly. Not giving a shit about what other people think of you, just who you are, who you want to be viewed as is important. Knowledge and seeking help in areas you're weak in is also important. Admitting to that, identifying your weakness, and having someone help you. And maybe you have an ego and think that you have no weakness. Well, you might want to get a coach that can find those hidden weaknesses, those blind spots. Point them out and help you. That's really important, I think. So what are you focusing on daily? I'd love to hear your answers. If this has been useful, please comment below. Let me know what you're taking away, what you're going to do differently from now forward. Um, comments, anything. Um, I love the hearts. I love the likes. Thank you so much. And if you want to continue this conversation, I would love to continue this conversation. Book a call. The link is in the show notes. Uh, number two is access to my calendar. Book the amount of time that you feel necessary. I love it when I have an hour to spend one-on-one -on -one with you for free. No obligation. I'm not going to sell you anything. Um, let's just talk. Let's talk about what you're focused on and what your goals are in your health. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for the love. Bye.